The second problem for the city is transportation. Transportation is a problem for many European cities because we have a small historical center which is occupied by cars. In the last 20 years, the focus was given on cars. I will give you one figure. 520 cars per thousand citizens in Bratislava. In Vienna, it's 450. So more cars per inhabitants or per citizens in Bratislava than in Vienna. It's crazy. Car become a symbol of the position. I should have a car because I'm well off. And this is not always the case because if the city is locked by the cars, this is not a good signal for the people. When they wait in the congestions coming to the city, going to their work by car, and they're waiting 40 minutes, one hour, it's something you probably know also here in the US, because I went through some congestions here. So I know what, you, what I'm talking about, but we would try to solve this by the means the other European cities do or did. It's a, it's a, a priority of public transport. Public transport, we dreamed of metro for 30 years in Bratislava. We have metro in Prague. It was the Czechoslovakia project, but it never came to, to Bratislava. Maybe we are not that big to have underground in, in, in this, this city. So we believe we can, we can extend the tram lines, the trams as a, as a public transport, which the people will use, the trolley buses and the buses anywhere where the people need to come. And then to, we, we are trying to put the stress on the cycling. Cycling is a modern concept coming from Copenhagen, Netherlands and many other cities. And many young people want to go to their work by bike, not by car, not by something else, but by bike. It's not that easy in Bratislava, because nobody thought of, about that for 20 years. So we changed the concept, established the commission with the presence of bikers themselves, say, let's tell us where are the problems. We will start there. And we started, we did. We make a first uh, cycling road, then we will make a second, third, and the others, others, others. So, it's a kind of a change of the point of view. And the last is, maybe not, not least, is the pedestrians. Pedestrians should have a preference before all the others. This is the most healthy way how to move in the city. Our city is really small, mainly the center. You can come to any point by walk, but you have to think about that. that this, is, this is a way how can I move in my city, not believing in cars, not believing in any other means. So pedestrians, cyclers or bikers, public transport. This is where we are trying to move ourselves. It's not easy because it needs infrastructure, we are lacking resources, but we are trying to find help with the European Union funds, and we are a country which is eligible for getting the funds, and we are focusing them mainly on transportation.